Hello, I'm Arshiv Habzada reporting from CES 2016 and I'm at the Digital Health Summit studio with Sri Velamore, who is a partner at McKinsey & Co. Thank you very much, Sri. Great to be here. Thank you. You were just on the panel. Can you tell me a little bit about what the panel was about? Sure. Uh, this was about uh, ROI and P&L and just the state of investment in the digital health space. And we had a couple of uh, partners from Cooley and from Northwest, Norwest, who I believe you just met, uh, yeah. speaking about the state of investment, uh, the connected health space, how much money has gone into this in the last three to five years. So if you were to give me some snippets uh, or some take home points, what would your kind of summary be of the panel? Sure. Uh, in a nutshell, about $15 billion worth of uh, capital investment over the last five years in the digital health space. About a third of that that's gone towards consumer connected health technologies. And the panel was focused on uh, are consumers really adopting these and how much help do provider systems and hospitals and payers need to provide to educate consumers about the value of these tools. And uh, is, is there a there there here? Or is this just a fad that we see disappearing sometime soon? And what do you think the future is going to hold? Uh, continued proliferation. We have upwards of 1,500 companies in this space now. Uh, it's likely to grow in the near term, but we're also seeing lots of M&A activity, about 180 deals just in the past year alone. Uh, winners will emerge from this space. There's just uh, It's very crowded right now, and uh, we expect the space to shrink in the short term. Oh, is that right? And uh, in terms of the growth of the space, probably two business models that people believe will win. One, which is more of a consumer-facing technology. It's not not dissimilar from all these companies we see around us here today, uh, where they don't require medical grade data or integration with hospital systems. And consumers use them because they love them and they, they see value in managing their health day to day. This is second class of companies which need a bit more rigor, clinical testing, FDA approvals. Those have been slower to take up but the value that they can unlock are substantial, what, several hundreds of billions of dollars. What do you think has uh, caused that slowness, that difficulty in kind of picking up quickly? It's challenging to prove the value, and it's hard to make money on those solutions because of the way reimbursement happens in the current health system. So we're expecting that you need physicians to be on board. They are not going to recommend a digital therapeutic to a patient until they're comfortable that it fits in with their practice and it's going to create the kind of outcome that they want for their patients. No, I'm, so once that plays out and the results are good, we'll see probably an uptick, but we're not quite there yet. Wonderful. If people want to find out more about the work that you're doing uh, at McKinsey, where should they go? McKinsey.com slash healthcare. We have a, a great practice area and a website that's focused exclusively on this space. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Sri. I appreciate it. Thank nice you. to meet you. Thank you. This is uh, Arshiv Habzada reporting from CES 2016. I'm at the Digital Health Summit studio. Thank you.